Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm doing a follow-on video from my Android TV 10 on Raspberry Pi 4 video. Now in that video I showed you how to install Android TV 10 on the Raspberry Pi 4. And I think you'll agree with me, it's an amazing achievement from the Kongstakang.com team. Multitasking on the Raspberry Pi 4. And for most people like me and you, it's a dream come true. But as we all know, we're limited to what we can download from the Google Play Store with Android TV. Wouldn't it be great if we could install Android Mobile on the Raspberry Pi 4 and therefore get every app available on the Google Play Store? Well, I'm happy to say you can, and it's all thanks to Kongstakang.com again. So, what's achievable on the Raspberry Pi 4 with Android 10 running on it? Well, stick around and I'll show you. Now, installing Android 10 on your Raspberry Pi 4 is similar to installing Android TV on your Raspberry Pi 4. And if you want me to do an in-depth tutorial, let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. So one of the best features Android Mobile has over Android TV is widgets. Who would have thought widgets working on the Raspberry Pi 4? All you need to do is long press on the desktop and you'll get a menu. Just select widgets. And then this just works basically like your mobile phone. You need to have the app installed to install its widget. And in this case, I'm going to choose one of my favorite widgets, transparent clock and weather. You just simply drag it onto your desktop. And of course, with all widgets, you can resize it to fit your desktop. Just long press on it and you'll get those buttons around the side. And then just adjust them how you want it to look. And of course, just like any Android widget, you can interact with it. Just click on it and it'll bring up the app. Pretty amazing to know this is all running on a Raspberry Pi, hey? Now, changing your wallpaper is as simple as clicking on your desktop and selecting styles and wallpapers. So let's take a quick look on on-device wallpapers. And I kind of like the look of this one. And I'm going to set it for home screen and lock screen. And it's as simple as that. I found internet browsing worked without any issues. There was no noticeable tearing or stuttering. Oh, ten years ago, I released movie film which brought great shame. And all the resolutions were available. And I was able to skim over video playback pretty well. Now the real game changer here is multitasking on the Raspberry 4. So you just click on the square button like all Android devices and then you can scroll between your open apps. And just like any other Android device, you just open up Google Play and install the game you want. So I'm going to search for one of my favorites and it's Angry Birds. You can't beat the classics. Now I also try to install Call of Duty Mobile and it does actually install but you're unable to select the in-game options as usual which is a shame, I really thought we had cracked it this time. Now of course as it's a mobile operating system you've got your contacts here as well as long as you're logged in with your Google account. Anyway guys that was my roundup of Android 10 on your Raspberry Pi 4. As you can see most of the useful functions are working as they would with a mobile phone. Now like I mentioned earlier if you want me to do a tutorial on how to install this on your Raspberry Pi 4 just leave a comment below. So guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. It's today. I browsed eight sites for divorce attorneys today. I love working with you.